It's a very important message, and it's one that's often overlooked. But YMCA New South Wales wants to make this summer a safe summer. I couldn't impress on anyone. Anyone I speak to, actually when I've got the grandchildren here at the pool and, and telling them how what a silent death it is, that you cannot leave your children for five seconds. It takes that split second and you could lose someone very precious to you for the rest of your life. Lifeguards provide a vital service to ensure public safety at aquatic venues across the state. But while lifeguards do the rescuing, parents, guardians and carers are their eyes and ears. It's um, very important, um, you know, we're not here to look after their kid directly, we're here to supervise everyone in the centre, so they're still the primary um, carer for their kid. Um, we're just there to back up and, and keep alert. This summer we're recommending parents to keep children five and under within arm's reach at all times, supervise their children aged between six and ten constantly, and regularly check on children between the ages of 11 and 14. When I have my children here, I'm standing by the pool the whole time and when I've got the youngest ones, I'm in the water with them. No more than an arm's reach away at all times. Just because a child can swim doesn't mean they're safe. Five and unders are generally a lot smaller than other children and they're more susceptible to fatigue. We need you in the water with them because that's what's going to keep them safe. It's also advised to take regular breaks throughout the day and avoid distractions. Watch your child and not your phone. As both a swim teacher and a parent, I would take it extremely seriously. Um, sometimes, you, like you said, you only get one chance, you know, and you don't ever want to look back and say, why was my phone more important than my child? So let's make this summer a safe summer at the Y. Drowning can happen, but not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch.